So the questions are, what can I eat to increase my sperm volume? What can cause me to have a decrease in semen volume? And also, can semen retention help me to increase semen volume? These are the questions I've gotten from some of my viewers, and I'd like to handle it in today's class. If you're watching my content and you're enjoying it, show me some love by smashing that subscribe button and turning on that notification bell. So when I drop juicy content like this, you'll be the first to watch. So what are we waiting for? Let's roll in. We'll be looking at all the questions I just mentioned earlier. But before that, let's go into the reasons why men would want to have an increase in semen volume. Point number one, it makes them feel more masculine. Point number two, they have a feeling that the more semen load they have, the more fertile they are. Point number three, it's pleasurable to them and their partner. Point number four, for religious reasons. Point number five, pornography. Pornography has made a lot of men to believe that they are not normal. It has caused a lot of damage to men. You know, when you watch a pornographic video or you're looking at a pornographic image, it has been edited and the semen volume has been increased. You know, they have done a lot of editing on it. So these are the reasons why a lot of men want their semen volume to increase. What is the normal semen volume? It ranges from 1.5 mils to 15 mils. And semen contains prostatic fluid, seminal fluid, and sperms. And approximately 5% of sperms. So let's look at semen retention. A lot of men or a lot of religions, or a lot of beliefs, societal teachings, or uh, fallacies have come out saying that if a man, you know, abstains from any form of ejaculation, whether it's through masturbation, sex, whether it's foreplay, any form of method or way that a man ejaculates, he's going to have an increase in semen volume. So I did some research and I saw that there were some studies that were carried out and that some men were apt to abstain for a period of time and then they had an increase in semen volume. So yes, it is true that when you abstain from any form of ejaculation, it increases your chances of having uh, an increase in semen volume. But... After a period of time, it would go to its normal volume. So it's advised that if you want to enjoy sex, if you're looking to conce conceive, it's good to abstain for a period of four to five days and then you can have sex and then you will see an increase in semen volume. One of the things that causes a man to believe or describe his ejaculate as, as either being or his semen being small or larger in volume is the force with which the ejaculate comes out or the semen comes out. Now, when a male has a forceful ejaculation and semen gushes out, you know, it a man's mind and he like, wow, I am actually producing a really heavy load. But when a man ejaculates without force, just slowly, like it just spills out, he will look at his semen load as being smaller. What can cause a man's semen load to decrease? Point number one, age. Know that when a man ages, you know, the muscles responsible for ejaculation are not as active as they used to be. They can contract the way it used to be. So he's going to ejaculate a smaller semen load. 
Also, hormonal imbalance, a decrease in testosterone, causes a lot of men to have a decrease in semen load. Remember that an increase in testosterone would actually increase sexual function, increase foreplay. And when you have more foreplay, there's more semen that is being secreted by the prostat uh, prostatic gland, by the prostate, and then you have a heavier load or you have more load. Number three, another hormonal imbalance. If a man has high prolactin, and high prolactin can be caused by a tumor on the pituitary gland and other issues. That's when a man's body produces more milk hormones. That means he begins to have breasts. You see men who have got breasts. When a man has low levels of thyroid, then he's going to experience a reduced semen volume. So it's very important that a man should check his hormonal levels if he's experiencing low volumes of semen. Check your testosterone level, check your prolactin level, and check your thyroid level. Now, the next point is low levels of zinc. Zinc is responsible for the production of seminal fluid. That means your body needs zinc as a man to produce seminal fluid, to cause the prostate gland to produce enough fluid. That means when there's more fluid, there's an increase in semen volume. Now, the next point is an enlarged prostate. When the prostate is enlarged and when the semen wants to leave or when the fluid wants to leave the prostate in through the urethra. Because this inflammation, because there is an inflammation caused by the enlargement of the prostate, it causes only a small volume of semen to leave the prostate gland to or through the urethra. Thus, semen volume is going to be little. The last point is genetics. If all men in your bloodline mother's side or father's side ejaculate small volumes of semen, know that there's a high probability that you will ejaculate a small volume of semen. How can I increase my semen volume, my meal load? Number one, as we discussed earlier, semen retention. As I explained earlier, semen retention can help if you abstain for four to five days and then you start having sex again, you will experience an increase in semen load. Number two, drinking plenty of water. If you drink more water, you increase the fluid in your body and thus your semen volume is going to increase. Number three, you should avoid taking alcohol and coffee because they would dehydrate your body and cause your semen volume to be smaller. Next point, avoid smoking. Any form, whether it's cannabis, tobacco, cigarettes, just stop smoking because it messes up your erection and it will also mess up your semen volume. It will cause your semen volume to really reduce. Next point, increase Foreplay. Do enough foreplay before you ejaculate so that there should be a huge amount of accumulation before you ejaculate. And the next point is eat foods that are high in minerals, especially zinc, that is needed for the production of seminal fluids. And this would help your semen load to increase in volume. Now, what foods can you take? There are a lot of nuts. Take bananas. Take pumpkin seeds. Take almond nuts, walnuts, dates, flax seeds. Put them in your diet. And gradually, you will begin to change. You will begin to notice that the quality of your semen will change. The texture, the smell will change. I did a video on how to make your semen taste better. 
this is going to help you if you're looking to have a sweeter tasting or a better tasting semen you should watch that video it's going to help your marriage tremendously so thank you very much for joining me in today's class i remain your seasoned medical microbiology gwendolyn Halle.